Hey everybody, this is Jeremiah Craig with Do North Audio. I recently got hit with the revert to trial bug for Premiere Pro, and I decided to go look for other programs that could make videos. And I remembered Keynote had a way that you could export movies uh, from a presentation. So I decided to make my own video explaining how to make a video within Keynote itself. First, we need to understand why we should make a video within Keynote. It's really easy to create video content is the number one reason. I made this whole video within Keynote itself. Another reason is you can repurpose old or new presentations. And you can also get a better quality webinar recording. I'm sure you're familiar with the highly compressed recordings that you get from um, those webinar software and if you're looking for a better, you know, higher definition version, you can just re-record it through Keynote. Although you're missing all the valuable questions at the end of the webinar, but I'm sure you could just uh, add those on within a different video itself. So now the first step to creating a video within Keynote is to create your whole presentation. Complete it from start to finish, and once you're complete, the video magic can begin. And there are two ways to make a video within Keynote. The first way is the quick way, and the second way, and I think the better way, is the record it yourself way. Now the quick way is just to export the entire presentation as is. And to do that, you go to File, then Export To, and then QuickTime, and then set your desired time between the slides and your video size. The other way is the record it yourself way, and I think this is the better way. You can record a voice, excuse me, you can record a voiceover and include music when you export your video, just like I'm doing here. Once your presentation is complete, you are ready to record. Now, to record, you go to Document, which is in the upper right-hand corner of Keynote, then click Audio, and then Record, and set the time for your slides and record a voiceover. And you can set the time for your slides by pressing, you know, the space bar when you're in the record screen itself, which is this screen here. Now, once you're done, review your recording and then exit the recording screen. And you'll notice that the sound wave, where you clicked record before, has turned to green. And that means your recording has saved. Now you can add music. Now to add music, simply drag and drop an MP3, wave, or an AIF file into the soundtrack area and set the volume. And then you have the option to choose to play the music once through or loop it. Now you're ready to export the presentation as a video. Again, you can go to File, Export To, and QuickTime. The video is ready the video is ready for YouTube, Facebook, Vimeo, or DVDs. Now the only thing left is to make another video. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel.